and welcome back to Lifestyle with me, Pam Joseph, live here at the Ben TV Studios in London. You are all very welcome indeed. This is Christmas. <laughs> I have got a very, very lovely chap sitting next to me, very intelligent chap. He goes by the name of Robert Bertrand and he's a filmmaker. Um, I'm getting very cosy with him because guess what? One of the stars of his show is my daughter, Jade Marie Joseph. Oh. And it's very well, to meet you. Oh, lovely nice to meet, meet you. you. Right. Lovely to meet you. And you know what? She said, oh, Mum, don't embarrass me. I, I never embarrass her. I, I, I talk <laughs> straight and I shoot from the hip. Um, but <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. Can I just first of all say, you are a filmmaker. Um, talk to me about your, your journey there. Um, how you got into that position? Mm -hmm. um, so, do you want me to start right from the beginning? I would love that. Yeah, so uh, I, start, I had a love for films. Mm -hmm. um, so in, when I was doing my GCSEs, uh, mm -hmm. my drama tutor told me about the National Youth Theatre. Mm -hmm. So um, he kind of funded for me to take part in that course. Um, which was a real eye opener because he really fell for you. He funded. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was a two week course in um, in I think the Laban Centre or somewhere. Mm. Um, but it was a real eye opener for me because mm. I got to see other people doing acting from all around the world. Mm. It was amazing. You know, I spent yeah. two weeks with people doing drama and everything. It was fantastic. Wow. Um, and then from that, I. Um, I took a gap year because I wasn't really sure about what I wanted Would to do. Right. And my dad was like, you know, don't do, don't do a, a Mickey Mouse course, don't do media studies or something at uni. So I thought, well, okay. So, um, during Is that... rather strict on education, though? Pardon? Was it kind of strict on education? Not strict, but I think it's, 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 always, it's always important to think about, always have a backup plan. I think as, a, as, you know, as, a, as any job you do, yeah. it's always good to have like a, yeah. a plan B, yes. just in case plan A doesn't work. And just, I think for me, as an artist, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be just doing work for the sake of what? doing it. Yes. So I think it gave me a luxury, you know, I, I did law as my degree. So that enabled me to mm -hmm. produce work and I was doing music videos in between my degree as well. Mm -hmm. So that helped me on the contract side of things. You and know your business well. You know, and, yeah. and the thing is, if you're self-employed, um, you are your own business. Yes. So I think to sell yourself... And your brand. And the brand, yes, of course, Jeremy, you know yeah. you're the name. Yes. And you're only as good as your last job. Right on. So it's all about first impressions, mm -hmm. you know, how well you sell yourself, how well mm -hmm. do you market yourself, mm -hmm. and the brand, because, you know, that first bad job, that can scar you for life. For real. So, um, yeah, thanks to my dad as well, and my mum, just good to kind of give me that grounding, and you know. Support yeah, getting definitely. There. So you, you ventured, yeah. you said, this is what I want to do, you got a law degree, but you just said, no, you know, really and truly. You're too artistic for this. You want to do this. How was the hurdle? Was the journey? Was there hurdles there? Were, how? There were a lot of hurdles. Mm. Um, I mean, I do some acting as well. Mm. So, I um, mean, the acting come and goes. It's you know, I, mm -hmm. I see I see the acting as dating. You know, when you <laughs> when you turn up to an audition, yeah, it's about preference. Yes. There's nothing personal. Is it? Are you right for the project? Mm. Um, and I've taken that on board. And I, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy the acting. Mm -hmm. When it comes, it comes. When it doesn't, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I enjoy writing as well. Mm -hmm. So I was part of the Royal Court Theatre a good couple yes, of years ago, the Young Writers Course. Um, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that kind of led me on to screenwriting. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a few courses. I was part of the um, Second Light Scheme that was funded by the Film Council. Um, so it enabled us to go to various film schools, went to mm -hmm. National Film and Television School, London Film School. Um, just go to these really, you know, prestige uh, you know, yeah. places. On, and on your resume, that looks pretty It's good hot. in the CV, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's just the grounding. I think that's yeah. what was quite good for me, just to yes. get that fundamental grounding. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I mean, now recently I'm doing more corporate videos mm. and wedding videos and stuff. Mm. I'm still doing my own creative projects, yeah. um, which is why I'm here today to talk and about there you are, the big project. Film. The big one. The big one. The big one. Let's talk about that. Yes. What's it called? What's it about? And, and, and how are you doing this? Right, so uh, it's a short film called Morning Glory, um, starring your lovely daughter, Jade oh, Marie daughter. Joseph. Um, I guess the picture's going on. I think you sent some pictures down, didn't you? I think I did. Can we? Oh. So that's, yeah, that's just me, um, my directing work. Yeah, yeah. It's a couple oh. of music videos and trying to look busy and uh, 
important. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll talk about my film. You're really hands on, aren't you? Yes. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a whole collaborative thing, and I think as a director, you need, you, you're, you're kind of uh, steering the ship. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, that's, that's Jade, <laughs> your lovely daughter, one, of, her, <laughs> one of the theatre shows. Um, but yeah, it's a short film, it's called Morning Glory. It's a coming of age short film about two best friends. Um, one's about to join the army, so that's Jade's character, Tanya. Mm. Um, it's a simple premise, um, it's all located in a park, and it's just dealing with, you know, moving on, the struggles of being a young person. Um, I wanted to keep something very simple, very character driven. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to filming this thing. Um, mm -hmm. So currently we're at the um, crowdfunding stage of the film. Um, we're doing a crowdfunding campaign. The campaign ends in uh, January, so <laughs> only got a couple of weeks. Um, couple of weeks. So here I am just kind of yeah, spreading the word. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get a move yeah, on. We've got to move on. But we're on with it, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, I, it's it's one of one, one of those things. The momentum just kind of driving me forward, you know. Um, and you can't stop because you know it's good. You can't stop, and I and I believe in it. And yes. I think the thing is, once you believe in, and enjoy in a project, yeah, it kind of makes it more easier yeah. just to have that 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 drive, that, that, that determination. Yeah, you, you know. know, to make it happen. We have to give out some details how people can know more sure. and how they can financially help you. Yes. So we're going to look straight in this camera that that and, and give it all. Sure. So um, we are on Kickstarter. So you go to kickstarter.com and search for Morning Glory short film. On there will be our crowdfunding campaign to be a short video explaining the project, a brief about all of us, the actors, the cast and crew, um, some more information as to you know, why we need the money. Um, and yeah, you can make a pledge there. It could be a little as, a, as one pound, five pounds, ten pounds, a thousand pounds, however much you can contribute, we much, yeah. much appreciated. We are also on Twitter at MG Short Film. That's MG Short Film. Um, follow us up on Twitter. Also on Facebook at Morning Glory Short Film. Uh, yeah, feel free to like us, um, share the page, yeah. and yeah, get in touch. Um, yeah, also email us at morningglorysortfilm at gmail.com. That's morningglorysortfilm at gmail.com. Mm. This is your first, this is your debut coming out, doing, doing a thing, doing a feature like this. Um, it's a short thing? film. It's a short yeah, film. It's, short not, it's not my first. It's, um, not first. it's I think for me, as a filmmaker, I was still finding my voice. So I didn't feel I was ready to make this kind of film yet. The impact that you, you're wanting to make. Yeah, this one, yeah. Maybe. And I think um, I needed life experience. As a filmmaker, I need to experience life a bit more. Um, just to have a stronger voice mm. and knowing essentially a story I want to tell. Mm -hmm. Because I think as a filmmaker, if you're, if you're here to tell a story, if that's your job, mm. I think the energy you put in into a project mm. and the voice you want to, you know, to, whatever you want to say to your audience, mm -hmm. I think that story has to be so... You have to be, in my eyes, you have to be... Um, I ain't gonna say the words because I was gonna say something. But it has to be, yeah, has to be so important. So yeah. you have to, you know, it has to be so, so rather realistic, right. rather dynamic, rather impacting, rather. It has um, to be something, in you know, there that you're gonna make people think. Think, you know, it, because it's part of. To me, it's a part of your life you want to yes. share with the world. Yeah, you know, and. This is gonna ask you, Robert. Yes. You said it's a lady, it's a girl. That's um, there's two couples. There's yeah. Two. What is that to do with you? Is that an experience you had with someone or you knew someone? Did you, when you wrote this, did you? I know, I, yeah. Yes. Um, so initially, these characters were for males because um, they were initially uh, male characters. I, I wrote a, a play idea, it was called um, England. Yes. And it was um, England. England, as England. in, you know, England. Yeah. Um, and it was an idea of mine brewing for a good couple of years. Um, and it was just, it was meant to be a play and it was kind of, it, it was there. But I felt the dynamics of having female characters added, added more depth to the roles. Yes. And especially, you know, um, one of the characters, um, Candice is gay, um, Tanya is straight. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it, it's quite, it just made the, it added more um, layers to the characters yes, yes, because, yeah. you know, Tanya wants to join the army, Candice has a football trial. Yeah. Um, these are, can, you can kind of call them more 
stereotypical male yes, roles. Yes, yes. So I like to kind yeah. of look into that and see, you know, these are not... It's very clever, actually. Yeah, you know, and I, I just like the fact that there is no... I didn't want the film to be ba based about the sexuality. It's yeah. part of them, but that's the character. The very clever thing that you did there, because they are very um, male-dominating things. For, going into football, going into the army. It's male. You think of a man immediately, mm. a, 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 you know. Very interesting that you chose women to do that. So immediately we're looking at very strong women, actually. Huh? Yeah. Very strong women and dealing with themselves and how to... Very interesting, Robert. It's deep. It's rather deep, yeah. Very deep. Yeah, it's very deep. deep. I like that. But I think it's just um, characters, you know, if, if yeah. for me, uh, any film I watch, I have to be emotionally invested in the characters. Yeah, to come out, yeah. Um, and that's why I wanted to keep something, you know, very simple. Yeah. And the actors are aware it's going to be a very intense, intense project, you know, yeah. because given the fact that we've got no budget, even though we're raising the crowdfunding campaign, and try, yeah. you know, the money's just for you know, yeah, and do and doing and it off their own back, and and, and everybody is trying because Jade can't stop talking. Can I say this about it? She, no, she really wants to get her teeth into it. She sees it has a, such a demanding role, mm. and she's you know. All her life, she keeps saying, when I become an actress, I, I don't want to play anyone that does women. I said to her, you, you're, you're, you're going to do it. She is so sharp on this. She's like, oh, mum, I've got this role where I have to be like that. I have to be like that. Mum, this is great. Shows her ability. To bring it out into the audience, into the viewers, to everyone else, it does take something. I think you've written a very, very good play that's going to it really take it out of short the film. It's a short, short film. film. Short film. I must get it right. It keeps reminding me it's a short film. Um, and, and, and that short film has to be concise. Mm. The limited. That's why I say it's a lot. You have to get everything out in the short time that you have. Yes. Yep. So that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And what more have you got? Oh, I've got a lot more. Um, got but, a lot more. But I think um, all the energy is onto this film. It's focusing. It's focusing on mm. this. I've got a lot of, you know, few features in the pipeline as well. Mm. Um, I mean, this Morning Glory is, I could call it like a prequel of a feature version I have of the film. But I didn't want to, I mean, uh, quite a few, I'm not speaking for myself, I mean, but some people might have, you know, they kind of fall into the thing of trying to compress a feature film into a short film. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to tell too much in such a short time. But what I wanted mm -hmm. to do with this, just to establish the world, the, you know... Give the idea, give the, the notion yeah. of what it, yeah. What potentially could be there yes. um, afterwards. So, mm -hmm. and it was a, a, an experiment for me just to see, you know, what I can do with the characters and just to welcome the audience to this new world. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know where they are. They're in this park, just the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, looking forward to it, you know. Yeah. Um, it's going to be very fun. Very much so, very much so. Where, where would it be shown? Where is it <laughs> in, its, in its completion? I mean, good question. I mean, um, hopefully once the, you know, if we can raise um, the amount from the crowdfunding. Can we, uh, can we ask you again, what's the amount? Uh, so the target is £3,000. £3,000. Um, That's not a lot, you guys. <laughs> it's not a lot. I mean, we just reached over, we're nearly at the halfway point. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got two weeks to go. So we're kind of on, on, on track, kind mm -hmm. of on target. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, a lot of the money will be just primarily used for like the post-production side of things and distribution mm -hmm. side of things because, yeah. you know, sending a film to film festivals costs, um, no matter where you send it, you know, postage, to, to uh, even just watch the film costs yeah. money. So yeah. that, a lot of the money will be used for that. Yeah. Um, you know, and we all are also offering perks, so, you know, no you know depending on how much you uh, make a pledge for the film. Mm -hmm. You can get a credit on the film. We mm -hmm. um, have still photos, you have posters, invites to the screenings, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we just want to get people involved into this, you know, in this exciting project, you know. Um, and yeah, I mean, if people, you know, I'm willing to collaborate with other people, other filmmakers, people interested in the media, things like that. Fantastic. So feel free to, you know, get in touch. Well, right? but let's, let's give out the details once again. Sure. So, to make a pledge, we'll be at kickstarter.com, uh, search Morning Glory Short Film. That's Morning Glory Short Film. We're also up on Twitter, at MG Short Film. That's MG Short Film. And on Facebook, Morning Glory Short Film. And email on uh, morning, Morning Glory Short Film at gmail.com. Or I'm at, me, myself, at Twitter. It's one Robert Bertrand. 
So that's R-O-B-E-R-T, Bertrand. Same like uh, the Southampton footballer, oh, Ryan yes, Bertrand. Yes, yes, We're yes, not related, yes. but some of us are. You wish he was. <laughs> going to give you a break, right? <laughs> 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 so, yeah. There you go. Hit me up, Ryan. Yeah, Hit yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Now, we, we, this is the time to share. This is a generous season, isn't it? It's a generous season. You to be jolly, you know. Yeah, let's, let's get though. a bit generous. This is remarkable. But this is a, a chap that's doing something, yeah? British talent, black British talent is here. I keep saying that. I keep saying that on the show. Black British talent is here. Let's have them out. Yeah, please. And if you need more information, you can email us as well. Lifestyle on bed at hotmail.co.uk if you didn't catch what Robert said there. Yeah, email us and we'll, we'll give you the right direction, where to go and, and how to make your pledge and give your money you. It's all good. And my daughter's in it. You understand? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that, really. Robert, pleasure meeting you. Thanks for I really me. wanted to meet you. You're staying back because we're going to be, you know, bursting with the champagne in a minute. Mm. So we're staying back. We're having a little drinky poos. This is the festive season. Um, can I just say to everybody that tried to give us their recipes, because what I did was mm. I asked people a couple of weeks ago to give us their family recipes that people may not know about, things that could entice a dish, things and a dish from scratch that nobody hears about. And we'd credit them and tell everybody else, we've had some amazing things. And I can't say to everybody, do you eat macaroni cheese? I love macaroni cheese. Listen, my girl Rebecca is talking about how to make it really cheesy. I'll tell you that in the break. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Get up. Um, we sorted out the location and I'm really looking forward to it. J. Marie Joseph is an actress and filmmaker. Her first produced documentary, Life How We Live, was aired on BBC Three Online. Jade has performed at theatre venues such as the Tricycle, Hampstead Theatre and the Bush Theatre. Jade is also currently working on a feature film titled Catalyst, which will be released in 2018, where she'll be playing one of the leads as Amy. Bianca Beckles-Rose has trained at the Brit School and has toured with Fourth Monkey Theatre Company her credits include Toy Soldier for the Who Said Theatre Company, BBC Radio 2's Friday Night is Music Night, and is also starring in a new computer game with the Vecchi Studios, which is released later this year. We are extremely lucky to have Tim Jolly as our cinematographer. Tim began his career shooting junkets, premieres and promos for major studios, and now has a successful career as a commercial and promo cinematographer working for clients such as Alan Jones and the Royal Opera House, to name a few. Your financial help will make a huge difference in helping us get this exciting short film to the finishing line. We are almost there, but with your help, will enable us to cover things such as travel expenses for cast and crew, food, camera rental equipment, post-production costs, and sharing this exciting film around the world to film festivals. It's an important story we feel that needs to be told. We would love to have you on board and to be part of this exciting project. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the cat videos. <laughs>